What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We're jumping back into some road of the show here today. Got a three-game set in Texas against the Rangers. And hopefully we can take two of three in this one and not drop two of three. We're currently a game back in the division. Still a young season, though. Here we are, top of the first, two out, nobody on. I'm batting 265 coming into this one. And we have Owen White on the mound for the Rangers. And first pitch, Hacken sends one into the left field. I don't even know what he throws, but uh, that one's a base hit. I'll take the single. Nothing wrong with that. All right, bottom of the first. Still no score. Runner on first. Nobody out for Justin Foscu. He is hitting 268 on the season. Has a 2 and one count here against starter Michael McGreevy. And a ground ball here to me. We're going to go to second with that. Get the lead runner. Relay to first. In time. 4-6-3. The double play that re uh, doesn't retire the side, but it does empty the bases. So we'll take that. Top of the fourth, still no score. I'm up to the plate for the second time today. Nobody out, nobody on here. Owen White still on the mound for Texas. He has a 95 mile an hour four seamer, 92 on the two seamer, nothing else quick. First pitch from him is another one sent to the left side. Shortstop gets a glove on that and whips it across the diamond to get me. So that's a uh, quick ground ball out there. Top of the fifth, it's a 3-1 ball game. Cardinals in the lead now. Runner on first and nobody out. I'm back to the plate for the third time today. And let's see what I can do against Owen White this time around. First pitch of the at-bat here. Ripped into right field. That's a two-bagger off the bat. Oh, yeah, all the way to the wall there. Yep, well, I will stop at second. They sent him around third, and the runner from first scores. It's now a 4-1 to one ball game with that RBI double. I'll take that. Bottom of the sixth, two outs, nobody on. St. Louis leading 4-3. to three. We have Marcus Simeon at the plate for Texas. He's 1-2 for two on the day, has a 2-2 two and two count here. And he sends a little ground ball out to second base here. We'll throw to first. Oh, almost threw it away. But we get the out, and the side is retired. We're moving on to the seventh here, leading 4-3. Top of the seventh, two outs and nobody on. I'm up to the plate for the fourth time today. Batting average up to a 271, thanks for my, to my two for three line score. Matthew Libertori is on the mound for Texas. He's got a 96 mile hour, four seamer, 96 on the sinker. Nothing else quick. First pitch from the lefty. Is way inside there, four-seamer there for a ball, 1-0 the count. Second pitch of the at-bat now. Oh, got me to swing through the four-seamer on the inside corner, 1-1 one one the count now after not making contact there. Kind of blew that one by me. Next pitch from Liberatory. Ripped into right center field, that's going to be a double I think as well. It's going all the way to the warning track. And there we have it, pair of doubles, along with that single in the first. And uh, we got a three for four day here. I'll take that. Rangers end up taking the win, though. Final score, six to four. Wow. All right, well, let's move on to game number two here and see if we can turn th things around. While this one's loading in, you know the drill, though. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Only 30% of my viewers are subscribed to the channel. You can also like and comment on this video. All of those things do help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And top of the first here in game number two. Two outs, nobody on. I'm batting 274. And we have Spencer Howard towing the rubber for Texas today. He's got a 97 mile an hour four seamer. 87 on the cutter. Nothing else quick. Next, or first pitch from him. Ha! Four seamer well above the zone. Not the off speed pitch I thought that was. So late swing. No contact made. Owen won the count. And he got me to reach for a 12-6 curve off the plate and low. And it's gone from bad to worse here. We have an 0 and 2 count here. The two strike pitch now from Howard. Way above the zone there with the cutter. We'll let that one go by. 1 and 2 the count. Let's see what I can do here with pitch number 4 of the at-bat. Just below the knees with that four-seamer there. Evens up the count at two and two, though. Could have been a four-pitch walk, but I got to swing at everything right out the blocks. 
The 2-2 pitch now is also way above the zone. Full count now. Five pitches, none of them in the strike zone. How about that? The payoff pitch in the zone popped up behind the plate there. Catcher only has to move into my batter's box to make the play. And the top of the first is now over. Now, top of the third, Cardinals leading one to nothing. Runners on the corners and only one away. I'm standing in with an 0 for 1 line score today. I did have that pop out. We just saw it. So here we go. First pitch of the at-bat from Spencer Howard. Oh, got me to reach for that cutter off the plate away. Oh, and won the count after swinging and missing. Next pitch is also off the outside corner. A lot closer to the zone than the first pitch, but I watched that one. So the count is back to even at one and one. Come on, big fella. Give me something good. All I need to do is a sack fly here. Oh, forcing around the outside corner, swung on and missed one and two the count. He burned that one right by me. No chance of catching up to that one. Next one's a four-seamer off the outside corner, and the count's back to even at two and two. Let's see what we get here with pitch number five of the at-bat. Oh, 12-6 curve had me way out in front. Swing and a miss makes for a strike out there. Oh, that was a good pitch. I have to tip my cap for that one. Bottom of the fourth, Rangers are up three to one now. Two outs, nobody on for Thomas uh, Seguis, I guess is well, how you would say his name. He's 0 for one today. 0-2 pitch to him is grounded up the middle. We'll get a glove on that, throw to first in plenty of time. And the side is retired. We're heading on to the fifth inning here, trailing Texas three to one. Top of the sixth. Still a 3-1 ball game. Nobody out, nobody on. I am 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a pop out. Let's see what I can do to get on base here. Spencer Howard still on the mound for Texas. And the first pitch from him is low and away with the cutter. 1-0 the count. They have a 7.52 career OPS against Texas. Ah, that's pretty solid. And popped up a four-seamer on the inner third above the knees. And second baseman makes the play there on the edge of the infield grass so one away now in the top of the sixth bottom of the seventh still a three to one ball game sam huff at the plate for texas he's one for two on the day has a double and a run scored There's nobody out nobody on here bottom of the seventh one one count against uh Dwayne underwood jr that's going to get a ground ball here cracker jack during the seventh inning stretch didn't do him any favors and that is the first out in the bottom of the seventh Top of the eighth, two outs, nobody on. I'm standing in for the fourth time. Still rocking the over. But now we got left-handed Brandon Hughes on the mound for Texas. He's got a 96-mile-an-hour four-seamer. Sinker hits 93. Nothing else quick. And he gets me to swing through a slider off the inside corner, and that's an 0-1 count now. Dang, that was a good swing timing, just no contact made. The 0-1 pitch. Uh, hits me with the four-seamer on the inside corner. Swung on and missed there, too. Oh, and two the count. Two-strike pitch laid off there. Four-seamer off the inside corner. 35,464 here in Texas watching the game. Swung on a circle change below the knees on the outside corner and got a piece. Fouled it away. One and two the count now. Next pitch from Hughes. Off the outside corner with the four-seamer. Count is now back to even two and two here. Starting to work out a little bit longer at bat. I like it. Sixth pitch of the AB. There's a four-seamer on the inside third. Fouled it away, and the count remains two and two. Let's see what we get here with pitch number seven of the at bat. Oh, four-seamer top of the zone. Sent out to deep left center field. Come on, baby. Get up. Get up. Not going to happen. Dies on the warning track there in the deepest part of center field. And there you have it. The side is retired. We're moving on to the bottom of the eighth. Still trailing three to one. Speaking of bottom of the eighth, Trent Grisham at the plate now with a runner on first and one away. Grisham is 0 for 3 and has a 1 and 2 count here against reliever Brett Martin. And he hits into a simple ground ball here. We'll throw to second, get the out there. Relay to first is not going to be in time. He beats it out on the back end, so only a 4-6 put out for the fielder's choice. Got the lead runner there, at least. 
Texas wins game number two. Final score three to one. Let's move on to game number three and try to avoid the sweep in this three game set here in Texas. All right, here we go. Top of the first two out, nobody on. Jack Leiter on the mound for Texas. He's starting things off today with a 96 mile an hour four seamer. Nothing else quick. First pitch from him. Ripped into right center field. Late jump from the right fielder. That's going to one hop the wall. We got a double here to start off our day in game number three. We'll take that. 106 off the bat, too. How about that? Wow. Gordon Mercer's at the plate now in the bottom of the first. Texas already up one to nothing. There's a runner on first and one away. Mercer's hitting 251 coming into this one. Got an 0 2 count against starter Pablo Lopez. And ground ball right at me. We're going to go to second, get the out there, relay to first. Not in time. He beats it out on the back end. Again, that gets them out of a double play here. They've been doing that a lot in the last couple of games against us. So bottom of the second now, one out, nobody on for Luke Berryhill. He's hitting 293 on the season. Has an 0-1 count here against Pablo Lopez. Let's see if we get a simple ground ball. You betcha. There we go. We'll throw to first and plenty of time. Two away now in the bottom of the second. The top of the third. Still a one nothing ball game. Texas with the lead. Runner on second and only one away. Let's see what I can do against Jack Leiter this time around. Got that, had that double in my first plate appearance against him. Ah, oh, four-seamer there above the zone. Late swing, fouled away. 0-1 oh, the count. Hitting 4-17 and 1-1 one, one count, but this is an 0-1 oh, count. So. No, man, 12-6 curve just off the inside corner. Fouled it away, and we have an 0-2 oh, count. The two-strike pitch now from Leiter. Is off the outside corner. Four seamer there. Call the ball. One and two the count. Let's see what I can do here with pitch number four of the at bat. Well, we're watching that one too. Four seamer away gets um, the count to it. Two and two. We're back to even. Fifth pitch of the at bat now. Got a piece of the change up there below the knees on the inside corner. Somehow. And we have a two and two count still. Pitch number six of the at bat. Oh, got me with the four seamer at the knees. You gotta be kidding me. Man, the way the light is there, that was hard to see. Dang it. Bottom of the fifth now, it's a three to two ball game. Texas in the lead. Runner on first and one away for Gordon Mercer. He's 0 for two, and he pops one up here to me at second base. Piece of cake play on the one two pitch. And there's now two away in the bottom of the fifth. Top of the sixth, still a 3-2 ball game. Nobody out, nobody on. I'm leading things off here against Jack Leiter. He's only thrown 55 pitches through the first five innings, so he's being pretty efficient on the mound there. First pitch of this at-bat, though. Ripped down the third baseline, and he called it foul before it even got to the bag. Come on, man. That was right down the line third base hump apparently doesn't like me very much today second pitch of the at bat now oh got tied me up in knots with that four seamer off the inside corner we have an 0 and two count in a hurry here maybe that uh lead off double in my day is the only luck i'm gonna have got a piece of the change up low and away there 0 and two remains the count i don't know how i even made contact with that honestly the next two strike pitch Sent into left center field. It's over the shortstop's head. We'll take the single for that. So we turn the two-strike pitch into a base hit. That's a thing of beauty. I'll take those anytime I can get them. We're tied at three now in the bottom of the seventh. Runner on third and one away for Nathaniel Lowe. He's one for two on the day. If he's going to ground to me, I'm going to the plate with it. All right, that was uh, apparently a liner. All right, whatever. Run does not score with that little uh, shot in the infield. Top of the eighth, though, the runner did end up scoring. It's a four to three ball game now. Nobody out, nobody on. I'm standing in for the fourth time today with a two for three line score. A.J. Puck is now on the mound for Texas. He has a 99 mile an hour four seamer, 92 on the sinker, 90 on his circle change as well. 
First pitch is a four-seamer off the outside corner. 1-0 the count in front of 32,881 paid attendance today. Next pitch from Puck. And late swing on a four-seamer in the zone there and fouled away. 1-1 one one the count. All we need is one good pitch here. We can tie this game. Come on. Late swing on the sinker there. Fouled away. One and two the count now. All we need is the right swing timing against the pitch from Puck here. He is a left-hander. We watch a sinker below the knees on the inner third. Two and two the count. How about that? I'm only swinging at ones in the zone so far. Pitch number five of the at-bat. As a four-seamer above the zone, swung on and missed. There's a strikeout for my line score. All right, bottom of the eighth. Still a 4-3 ball game. Thomas Seguis is at the plate for Texas. He's one for three today. Has a one and two count with nobody out and nobody on. Let's see what he can do against reliever Michael King. Ground ball to second. Easy play. One away now in the bottom of the eighth. And the Rangers win all three games in this one. They win game number three by a final score of five to three. So we get swept on the road in Texas. And uh, yeah, not much you can do about that. It's quick and semi-painless. But since it's the end of the series, it's going to be the end of the episode. For those of you still hanging out with me, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun social media things. We will see you in the next one.